Good evening, my test subjects, and welcome to another episode of whatever this game's called. Mafia 3. Thank you. <laughs> That's what it's called. Yes, indeed, you are correct. Now, we have to talk to Cassandra, so let's do that right away. So why not? The set's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung them up on the old Ferris wheel. I did. Kill Dallas. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. You set got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. Thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same man who killed Baca. Wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But gestures carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a portion of the profits. Just so we're clear. I'm expected to cut everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. Her eyes look super weird. <laughs> district assignments. You're about to assign this district to Cassandra. Each underboss wants to improve their urn, so they'll offer you favors like weapons, markers, vehicle upgrades, and services through their associates. Cool. I'll sign that to her then. Okay, I have to click it twice for some reason. Probably because I clicked shift the first time. Um, yeah, so. Story mission will not be friends like these. Talk to Donovan. Cool. I think the exit's over here. Marker gained. Use markers to pay for associates. Where the hell would I want to pay for one of those? Come on, take this car. Alright, so we gotta go talk to Donovan at this CIA motel piece of shit. So apparently Donovan's part of the CIA. Because I think he's he's the guy who's been doing the interview stuff as well, so... We know he survives at the end of all this, so we don't have to worry about him dying. Unless he dies in the interview process or some shit like that. That's also possible. Jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. Cut and run. Take a look at this. Oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli. Drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri is the one who took over Point Verdun, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought it'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get Point Verdun back. He always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point Verdun. <laughs> Duffy's puking. Shouldn't be too hard to find. 
Oh, you better be worth all this trouble. I'm gonna get some coffee because I don't want to get some and all this damn background noise. God damn, they're fucking watching a movie with the fucking sound bar. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Things fucking loud. It's a movie theater. 80 deaths of fucking bulls. Alright, let's look at this one. I made coffee, but it won't be ready for another few more minutes. The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut. And then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. How to give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew kid named Michael Greco to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can not leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. All right. Mark the man who believes. So looks like we have to find some uh, some people to help us out, and those are choices. Looks like we're only given two. How people down here heard about a little invention called air conditioning. Christ. Go get, go get a cooler full of ice and keep it open. That'll help you for a good while. <laughs> All right. So let's do a mission now. Yeah, turn. Oh no. Alright, so I'm gonna head to Vito's. We're gonna go recruit Vito first, I suppose. It was pretty far away. Probably 90 miles per hour. Or is that kilometers? Probably 90. Oh yeah, I'm about 100 down. Oh hell yeah. Oh, dude, that dude ran the red. <laughs> or, do I? Do I? Have, uh, yeah, I take damage from that. I actually get hurt. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like that, actually. Because you'd get hurt IRL. That was a sick turn. That gave me a boner. <laughs> Alright, fine veto. I guess time just took, I took a, I spent a whole day just, uh, walking or driving, uh, like 10 feet. Am I gonna have to kill that guy? I feel like I am. I got rid of him. So we're trying to recruit this guy, I think. Or no, he's working for Sal, I think is what he said. No, the commission's going to be for I don't know, either way. Alright, so, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to head this way. I'm going to try and see if I can, like... Go around. Hey, he's over here. Oh jeez, where the fuck you come from? Yeah, suck that cock. Bitch. He's in. Yeah, I ain't gonna left alt this shit, cause left alt's way at the bottom of the fucking keyboard. Way too fucking far away. I look I literally have to put my finger really far. Now, it's kind of ridiculous. Oh god, Marty. It was quick. Yeah, over here. Yeah, 
Come on, dude. Really? Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Of course. Fuck yeah. I mean, no. Fuck no. Yeah, this weapon's probably better since they use these more often than shotguns. Come on, pop your ass out. You dumbass. Why you listen to the goody trying to kill? You're so stupid. Alright, definitely gonna grab some of that. That dude's gonna try and sneak up on me. But good thing he's on the fucking radar, so can't really do much sneaking on me. I <laughs> thought I was over there. Good. Alright. I actually saw a junction box right here, so definitely gonna tap that. Probably wasn't a good time to do this. Who's still shooting? You still shooting in there? That was a dude way over there. Come on, motherfucker. We're so dumb. But I like dumb people. Alright, so did I successfully wiretap that? I don't even know. It didn't even let me know. Oh, that was definitely a kill. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go get that healing box that's over here. I can see on the map. Because that'll be really useful. Especially if a person of my uh, beautiful skills. But yeah, that, that seems to be already wiretapped because I can't do anything about it. Unless I broke the game. Which is very much possible. You'll <laughs> be surprised to know that's me. Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Link? How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. Skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano, asked for my cut right then and there. I figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. Yeah, I'm guessing he didn't go for it. <laughs> Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. He wanted me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. The money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so... I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop. Make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh, what are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. I'm gonna need your help. Look, pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Row from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. But you're a part of this now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. Goodbye, Marcano. Hello, Lincoln Clay. Either that or more of this. 
Next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. So bad. Nobody kills that scumbag but me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit. You take both of them. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys can keep the tabs on you. We should talk about it. I'll fill you in. Completed a mission. Associate gained. And achievement unlocked. We partners now. Yes. A consigliere. You can call a whatever to come pick up and store your extra cash so it's not lost if you're killed in action. Plus, once upgrade, the consigliere will collect any available kick kickback after you've called her. Kickback. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it's a mission called Contraband. Yeah. Unit extortion. Quite a few uh, story missions. I think I'm gonna need some coffee now, so I'll be back. Sweet. Alright, so yeah, that did work. Okay, so what is this? Work the man who bleeds. Unit extortion. There's another one down here. Okay, so now we got like branching story finally. It's an optional mission. Why is this one yellow and that one's orange? Whatever, it's closer, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check through the achievements to check if doing optional missions actually gives you an achievement. Because if not, then there's really no point. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> okay, so yeah, apparently there is achievements for doing these side missions. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. <laughs> Righty. So this is the place, huh? Oh shit. Oh, there goes this car. Whatever. Oh no, it's it's fine where it's at. It ain't gonna roll or anything, apparently. So I'm cool with that. So the mission starts over here. Swim across. And hop on in. What's up, bro? Ah, uh, you want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. Said you could use some help. Assuming you're a manual. Assume at your own risk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out. We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bears, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Does those white boys scare you, friend? They toss your zozo when you were shy. Sandra <laughs> failed to mention your charming personality. Uh, I highly doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan. A priest. What does a priest know about trafficking weed? <sighs> trafficking weed. I did not run marijuana away. My cargo was refugees, people. I saved their lives. Got them away from Duvalier. But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? <laughs> Cassandra says we are partners. That everything is cool between us. Are we cool? Don't think I'll call it that. Neither would I. He doesn't Cassandra like me. might be able to let go of what you did to our people. I don't like him either. But I cannot. Nobody likes me, I don't like Maybe nobody. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. It was not my choice to come here. Leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. Oh, we all. 
Hmm. 